check this out guys it's just awesome awesome hi guys welcome back to iHome Babe this is your friend Mori Marcel today I'm going to show you how to make focaccia bread very very simple I got these ingredients from one of my idols the master baker of pizza and bread making no other than Vito Ayacopele he is Italiano <laughs> So uh, guys, this um, focaccia bread, it's very, very simple, but it, there's a lot of process that you need to put and it's a, it should be 70% hydration. So first, I'm going to show you how to make the polish. I'm going to mix with the dough. Okay guys, so this is one to one ratio. Here I have 100 ml of lukewarm water or room temperature and I'm going to be adding 100 grams of bread flour 5 grams of honey 5 grams of yeast and 100 grams of flour so this is the consistency that you're looking for all right so I'm going to put this in the fridge for one hour after one hour this is what it looks like and one half teaspoon of salt there I'm gonna do I'm going to all right so so far I have added one cup of flour now depending on your flour guys that you're using you might need less liquid or maybe more fluid so I'm just gonna go ahead I need this dough but this is my first time making focaccia bread I got this recipe from Vito e all right guys so now it's nice and smooth what I'm gonna do I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil one hour room temperature all right so guys don't be afraid to uh, <laughs> make a mess in the kitchen that's what baking is all about it's all about feeling the texture in your hand so don't go anywhere and please don't forget to subscribe this dough has been sitting for one hour let's check it out you see guys it has gotten double so what you're gonna do is put a little bit of oil in your hand and just go like that. You have to be quick. All right. So now what we're gonna do, I'm going to cut this in half. Just like that. Put this aside. And now I'm going to make the ball. So in making the ball, just go like this. And you have to be really, really fast. Otherwise, your dough is going to start drying. Just like that. Very, very easy. Okay, guys. So if you have container that's fine too I'm going to cover this and wait three to four hours room temperature I'm gonna wait three to four hours now depending on the temperature of your environment this might take you two hours but the longer the better because the fermentation of the dough it brings that flavor that's what we're trying to get. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one of the dough. So after three to four hours, this is what it looked like. Now you can put flour on top or oil so they don't stick. You can also use this one. All right, just like that, see? beautiful look at that nice and soft look at the texture see? 
beautiful, beautiful. So in making focaccia bread, guys, you can also put the dough in the freezer later. So after cutting your balls, you can also put them in the freezer if you don't have time to cook everything or if you want to preserve it. Wow, they just I just love making dough. All right, so the first thing to do, the way to cut the cherries, okay, slice in half and brace it down. Putting the cherry tomatoes, bracing down. Now, if you are cherry tomatoes lovers, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can put more tomatoes. Okay, next is the olive. I mean, I only have black olive. I do not have the, the red olive or so this is what I have. I think it's red or purple. So just use, if you have any green olives, hey. Use this with oregano. Press all this with a little bit of salt, a bit of extra virgin olive oil. You see guys, this is beautiful. Check this out. This is pukasha bread with cherry tomatoes and olive. This for about 15 minutes and then ready to bake. So this is pukasha bread. It's mixed with olives and tomatoes, oregano, and a little bit of salt. So guys, this is so easy to make. So you need to make that polished, which is the fermented dough, one to one ratio. Now, if you want to make more batch, I mean, hey, just double the measurement. Guys, this smells so nice. This recipe is from Vito Ayacotele. One, of my idol in a pizza and bread making in the world <laughs> is italiano so if he's watching this right now because i'm going to put a hashtag <laughs> i've learned a lot from him and uh, so guys this is so easy to make all to it guys and just make sure you need the dough but i'm going to uh, show you how to make the dough properly because a lot of you guys probably have problem making the dough. The problem is the stickiness on your finger. So that is what I'm gonna show you how to um, make your dough not so sticky. All right, so, but that is going to be on the next upload. So stay tuned and ready to bake. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't go anywhere because I am about to show you my first focaccia bread <laughs> i mean when he was making it it looked so good and and i just don't love italian i love all kinds of food but for me i grew up with a lot of italian people german and irish and we were surrounded by many pizzas all the time and that's how i learned over the years so making pizza for me it's very easy now there are so many kinds of pizza you can make i mean neapolitan pizza new york pizza i mean it all depends where you're at but the most important to the pizza is making that perfect dough. That's all to it. And then after making the perfect dough, <laughs> just try to do your best. And then you can put any topping you like. That is the secret of making the dough. Make sure you ferment your dough. So I am going to put this beautiful focaccia in the oven. All right guys, so uh, make sure bake the focaccia at 450 degrees Fahrenheit 
and um, about 15 to 20 minutes this focaccia should be ready it's been baking for about 20 minutes check this out oh check this out isn't that lovely i mean guys this is the focaccia brand check this out all right guys i am going to put this in the counter and show you exactly i mean this is amazing this is the focaccia that we've been waiting for oh my god all right guys i'm going to slice it here we go this is so lovely this is focaccia bread <laughs> this is my first time making this and I think I did a great job so guys if you think I did a great job don't forget to thumbs up all right this I don't want to ruin the tray or I don't want to take it out from the tray I mean it's just awesome so what I'm gonna do show you exactly what it look like listen to the sound guys listen to the sound This is awesome. Okay, guys, so this is the back of the focaccia. So I flip it to show you exactly what it looks like. It is awesome. You see that honeycomb, guys? See that? This is a beautiful bread. Same thing here. Beautiful. beautiful so what i'm going to do i'm going to slice serve this with olive and parmesan i have parmesan cheese and extra virgin olive oil put some basil check this out guys life can be so simple and beautiful okay guys so that's it extra virgin olive oil parmesan cheese and voila you see this is beautiful all right guys so tasting time what i'm gonna try you want this tomato look at this tomato tomato is just wow awesome okay let's taste mm. So good. This focaccia doesn't have mozzarella cheese, but if you want, you can also add mozzarella cheese. It's just, it's good. Can you hear the sound? Like that that's when you know you did a good job mm. wow <clears throat> I can do it you can do it i mean this is my first time making focaccia bread just watching vito ayacapole made me a better baker actually <laughs> when it comes to fermenting my dough the texture of the dough and the beauty of the dough it's just everything guys it it made me a better pizza maker and um i'm very grateful so like i said guys give it a try if i can do it you can do it i mean this is an awesome 
derms, appetizer, whatever you want to call it, but it is a good bread. So, uh, one more time. Mmm. <clears throat> wow. It's my first time making it, and I'm giving myself a thumbs up. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching, and until then, peace out.